Welcome to another video. We're going to take a look at creating and changing basic shapes within Imagine a Shape. So to get started, I will select a default plane, for example, the X and Y. And I will create a sphere. Now, for the initial kickstart, the, we want to transform this sphere into a cube. So to get started, I will select all the elements by going over here within the tool palette. And now with all the elements selected, I will go to the attraction. And you're going to see that the weight will be all the way to zero. And if I will increase this all the way to 100, we're going to see that our sphere will look like a cube, but we're going to see that we're going to have rounded edges. So to get rid of those as well, we're going to select afterwards the edge selection. And we're going to see that now with the same selection, we're going to have the weight all the way to zero. And we can also increase this all the way to 100. And as we can see, now we're going to have that cube without any rounded faces. We can also rapidly change the short to smooth over here. So this is all the way to 100 and this will be all the way to minus 100. So this was the first case study. Now for the following one I will just hide the initial element and for the second one we're gonna transform again a sphere into a cylinder therefore I will define this element. Afterwards I'm gonna go and only select the top face by going over here for face selection have that top face selected, hold down control, as we can see control key will add elements to the selection. And I will also select the bottom face, in this case this one. And now since we are already on the attraction feature, we are just going to increase this all the way to 100. And as we can see we're going to have that converted into a cylinder. If you want to make a tube, we can just erase the top face and the bottom face and we're going to have this transform into a tube. We can also do some additional changes. For example, if you want to make a different cube, we can go and define a new one. And afterwards, if I will only select the top face and I will go to affinity in order to scale. We're going to see that if you want to scale on all axes, we need to hold the control key. So as we can see, if I will press down control, now all those, um, let's say, directions will be highlighted in orange. Therefore, I can rapidly make something with a different shape. Either I can go all the way down and have this transformed to a pyramid, or I can change the aspect of this. If we want, we can also deform it only on one axis. Therefore, we can make a shape similar like this. Or something different if we're going to go and scale it the other way. The same principle will also apply to <coughs> a cylinder. So, for example, if I will select that bottom uh, plane, so that the orientation of the new cylinder will be vertical, we can do the same workflow if I will hold down control. We can make this and have this transform into a cone. So keep that in mind that even though we only have a couple of primitives over here, we can rapidly obtain different ones. And there is also a case study regarding, um, let me see, for a torus. So we have the possibility to rapidly define a torus directly over here, which will look like this. As you can see, this will have eight elements. So as we can see, one, two, three, and four, and on the same side, again, four sections. Now, we can obtain uh, a torus differently. For example, we can start with a sphere. And with this sphere selected, we need to go and have this subdivided. Therefore, I will uh, use the face subdivision. I will do a 
a subdivision on the top. For example, we can go with a specific value. In this case, I will go with 0 0.15 for the top. Afterwards, I will do that check so that subdivision will remain on the model and the same subdivision I'm going to apply it to the bottom. Now we have the possibility to do a face erase. That means that that top surface and the bottom one will be deleted. And afterwards we can do an extrusion, a face extrusion. Therefore we're going to make use of the extrusion tool. I will also select the subdivision. And afterwards, <coughs> if you're going to go on face extrusion, I'm going to select... Um, we can also go for this only with edge. So if I will select the top edge, hold down control, go all the way to the one on the bottom, we're going to see how those two will be merged and close. And now we only need to scale this. Therefore, I will select everything, go to the affinity, and on the z-axis, I will have this scale down. And we're going to see how that torus will be formed. Keep in mind that this will be different from the other torus. As you can see, this will only be divided within uh, four sections, while the other one had eight. We can also further change this. If I'm going to select all the points in the middle with a rectangle select like this, hold down control, we're going to see how we can change that interior profile to make this a different shape. And again, we're just going to scale this on the z-axis to make it thinner. So we can do that. There's also the possibility to do that extrusion directly without having to erase the top and bottom face. So let's take a look at that case study as well. I'm going to select the X and Y plane, go for the sphere. We're just going to do the subdivision. I will go with the same ratio of 0, 15 for the top and for the bottom. And afterwards I can jump directly within extrusion and I can extrude the top face. As you can see now by default this added additional geometry at the top. But if I'm going to hold down control and I will select the bottom one, we're going to see that the same, um, let's say, principle as before will, um, will happen and those two sections will be merged. And now again I have the possibility to scale this down if I want to go back to that torus shape and afterwards <coughs> select all the middle points and have them scaled as well. So keep in mind that <coughs> you can heavily manipulate the standard primitives within Katia, so you don't have to work only with those basic shapes. You can combine and merge various shapes to obtain other elements. Okay, so if you find this video useful, I'm going to position something similar over here to the left and a subscribe button to the right. So thanks for watching.